Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. On the, and on earth, nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your hands, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and anxieties of daily life, and that that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. As we enter the holy season of Advent, a new time begins for us. We see new books, we see, we hear new songs, we see the new color in the liturgy. Everything has changed according to last week. This is a new church year, the new year in the liturgy and the new beginning. Advent, this word in Latin, Advenire, it means to come, to visit. We know already who should come. Because Advent is the time of preparation, not only in the liturgy, but also in our everyday life. We got from our Lord these four weeks before Christmas to prepare for this feast of the nativity of the Lord. Therefore, all the traditions in the church, which should show us how it is important to stay vigilant, to wait for the Lord. Therefore, these four candles is a time, as a sign of our time in Advent for Sundays, or the sign of love, faith, and charity, and of course of joy. Therefore, the sign of our songs, Advent songs, which tell us about this waiting time for the Lord. But everything what we have in the liturgy should prepare us not only for this Christmas, Anno Domini 2021. No, it is not only about this Christmas. Therefore, when we go to malls and shops and we see everywhere Merry Christmas already and Happy New Year, it is not this spirit of Christian Advent. It is not only about the preparations of our houses. It is not about cooking something what is delicious for Christmas. It is much more. The Advent season would like to invite you and me to prepare our hearts for Christ. To prepare our hearts, it means <clears throat> to open our hearts for his presence, for his coming. The first advent is now. These are these four weeks 
before Christmas. But the second advent, at the end of time, we heard about this in the gospel today. It is our knowledge, our faith, our hope that Jesus Christ will come. It shouldn't be a frightening uh, thought. It shouldn't be something what fills our hearts with fear. Because as Christians, we all are waiting for Christ. To be with Christ, with Jesus Christ, to share my life with him, it should be our happiness and hope. Out of all our sorrows, everyday sorrows and problems and struggles and questions, be with him. In the beginning, my dear brothers and sisters, we heard about this last week, the beginning of this everlasting life, eternal life with Christ, is now. The Advent shows us how it is important to live, to share my life with Christ, to invite him into my life, just as Mother Mary did, to be like Mother Mary, Immaculate Virgin, who were prepared and opened and willing to receive Jesus Christ, to invite him. And one of the most important signs in the liturgy and in the Advent season is the light. Maybe you saw already we have today no candles. They will be safe, just like here. But in five minutes maybe, during the offertory, I will light the candles as a sign that Jesus Christ is the light. Without him, even our high altar is not complete. Without the light, we miss something. It is a sign, my dear brothers and sisters, for you and me in this holy liturgy that Jesus Christ brings the light. So when we see our candles, Advent candles, when we see all the lights which are in the liturgy so important, it should be just an invitation for us. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and enlighten my heart in this holy Advent season. Come and overshadow me just like you did by Mother Mary. Come and fill me with your grace. So that this Advent season, this time, these four weeks, might be a time of grace, of visitation, of presence of our Lord. Come Holy Spirit, be my light in my everyday life, in my prayer, in my worship. Come Holy Spirit and be the light of your church in this liturgy, in this Holy Mass, and on every day of our life. Come Holy Spirit and stay with us. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken for the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we enter this holy season of Advent, we prepare our hearts to receive the Messiah. With joyful hope, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. For an increase in religious vocations, may the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts, let us pray to the Lord. For a world that will raise up servants who protect the vulnerable, especially the aged and the unborn, let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with questions about their faith, May the power of God's grace bring them peace and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us increase and abound in love for one another as children of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in Christ, May they live in glory forever with God and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul of Jan and Felicia Moster, and in all intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, please hear and answer our prayers this day in your wisdom. We ask for your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and to ever. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing our offertory hymn number 427, A Season of Light. 427, A Season of Light.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 